I got here is a stick a friend at work gave me. It's his, and some lady wrote this on there for him. And uh, and what I noticed was the handle, it got a lot of room for a handle on this end, but I didn't want it to be the handle on this end because it would read this way, and I wanted it to read that way. Well, you know, the handle wouldn't be very good for this side. So what I did, I went and looked on uh, the computer for a font, and I found a nice, a nice font and stuff, and I printed it out to about that size. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay out a line on the opposite side, and put put the, all the the whole all lettering all the way down the the whole length of the stick. And I'll put underneath this. I'll put carbon paper, and I'll tape it to the stick. And I'll just get a pencil and pencil in the the font, and it'll transfer right onto the stick. And then I'll carve it out, and we'll see what it looks like. What I'm doing now is I got I printed out the papers and I cut them into sections, and now I have to line them up on this ruler, make sure they're even all the way across. And then I'll tape it together so I can have one long piece. There we go. And then I'll tape the back part just, just, uh, just to make sure it holds together really well. So now I'll get the stick and I draw a line evenly all the way down the stick. And I'll put it on that line, you know, underneath. I'll look for the line through there and I'll put the uh, carbon paper on this side. I'll tape it to the stick and I'll make the lines even on each side and uh, tape it and draw it on. That's the next step. Alright, I got it all taped on with the carbon paper behind it and all I have to do is now transfer a rub a pencil on it and it'll transfer it onto the stick and I'll show you the next step will I'll take it off and show you how it looks it's really time consuming to outline I have to take my time and After I outline it, I go around and fill it all in. Like over here, I'll just push real hard to make sure it transfers onto the stick. And I do the R, and then I'll do the these ones over here. That. Alright, I got it all drawn in, and now I'm going to peel it off to see what it looks like. See how it, huh, see how it turned out. I think it took about an hour. <laughs> see, that's the lettering that they had on the other side. I didn't want to do that one, so I'll just this. I used a lot of tape. I had to tape it really well on that. But that's, uh, that's what I have to carve out now. Piece of tape. That's it. That's what I have to carve out. Well, I took it to work. And look what I did. Look how pretty. No, that's not it. This is it. Here. Oh, I got it backwards. I carved out the letters. I have to go in between all the letters, the grinding bit. And and then that'll be, uh, it'll smooth it all out. 
and then I'll work on the back part and I still don't know what I'm going to put down here it's all empty we'll figure something out the next step I got this morning I worked on it I got my handle carved out and I put this uh, it's called a flute down and it turns right here and it goes all the way down to the tip so I still have a lot of work to do but the majority of it's done I'm going to outline this and maybe put a design down in here something like that that's it for right now well I thought I'd like to show you what else I did with it I, put, I carved this out around each, well, I draw it on there and I just freehand and I carved it out I figured it, it adds a nice little touch to it and this well the flute you already seen but this is what I carved out over the yesterday it took a couple hours but I got it done I think it looks it looks pretty good what I'm going to do now is I got some black paint a little bit on here. I take a stiff brush like this. I get everything I need sanded in between, so I go push the push the uh, paint down in all the way down in the, the cracks. So nice. See, it looks kind of messy, but it'll turn out okay. I'll show you what I'm going to do and, and for the god and god I got some gold leaf uh, I'm going to put it down in there so that's that's gold for god and then the other letters are going to be black and it's going to stand out pretty nice against the white stick so we'll show you what happens then alright I got it all uh, colored in. It looks pretty ugly you know but I'll go out and sand it and it'll take off around the letters and it'll leave it the letters filled in pretty good. We'll I'll show you what it looks like. And here's what it looks like when I sanded all the way the uh the paint. See I left it all the rest in there. So now I just have to put the gold leaf in these two. I'll put adhesive in there for the gold leaf to stick and then put the gold leaf in there and then go over it again with the sanding. Alright I got the the gold push down into God, I put some uh, adhesive in there and I pushed the 24 karat gold down into the, the God. I figured you're going to spell God's name, you might as well do it good, huh? So I'll go over with another sanding to clean it up. i got a couple spots on here I still have to finish. And uh, we'll see where we go from there. Well, while I'm here, I, I forgot the camera at work, so here it is all finished. I put this top on it. I like the I like the color of this top anyways. Um I put this in here, I carved that out around the gold leaf of the cross, I wrapped the handle, and I did the little things around the and I, I gold leaf god and it went all the way down and on the back I put that flute like it I said I did before and I, I did the twist all the way down to the bottom.